Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode. From me, Abermans, quick face eat check. Just want to check nothing's creeping up on me, especially a creeper to eat my face. But we're not doing maps today, even though we've got a big map in the background that I've topped it off. You can see it's ever so slightly bigger than the last map that we left at the end of the last episode. I've topped a lot across just across the top row there, which is great. But I did have a few questions in the last video saying, Avo, how would you make the map an expanding map? And I thought I'd just spend a couple of minutes showing you how to make an expanding map. And then we're going to get on with this episode, which has got literally nothing to do with maps whatsoever. But I better eat an apple. I'm just going to eat an apple. I am literally the messiest eater in the world. That's frightening. Right, so come around this side because I'm going to show you something. What we've got, ignore that wall at a minute, that is advanced wall stuffs. This is an expanded map wall. So this is a single expansion, and you can see here, we've got going over the bridge, but not quite over the bridge. So if you see how far we've gone, now you need to get the map piece that is kind of one past where that map finished. So that's that bit there, I reckon. So we're gonna get that bit of map. And what we're gonna do, you can see, where are we? We're not even on the map yet. So we're going to run along with this map in around. And one thing you can do when you've got a map in your hand is you can press F and swap your hands. And what happens, it's quite a cool thing. It puts it in your off hand and you have it up, but you can still see where you're going, which is amazing. So we're going to just run across the bridge because this is the bridge we can see in the middle of our map here. And we're not even on the bit of map before the bit of map we're in at the moment, which is, well... We need it better than that. So we need to get to the map that is running, 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 to the map that is past this map in our hand. So we've got to basically run across this map in our hand and you'll see because we'll turn into like a pointer. And then once we've gone across the map and we're a little white dot on the other side of the map, we can then open up a new map. So I'm just gonna get across here. Let's have a bit of a, I am sprinting, I swear to you. All right, so I'll do it in a bit of a bouncy way. There we go, so that's gonna speed up. People that complain that I never run, well, there you go, I'm running as fast as I can across this blooming bridge. The fact it goes up and down means that it slows you. But I'm nearly on it, I'm nearly on that map. There we go, so we're on the map now. You can see we're on that map, and we're coming along. And as soon as we get to the other side of the map, we will open up a new map. And then we'll go back to the map wall, and I'll explain exactly what it is we're gonna do. So we're jumping and we're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, and we are now at the other side of the map, so on this platform. So we're gonna get this map, and we're gonna open it. And we can see, because we've opened it, we can see everything around that map, which is great. And then we just have to go back to the map pool. So I'll see you over there. Well, I couldn't very well come on this side of the camp and not go to the mate space. I've got to do some more messy eating. And again. Oh, for whatever reason, that apple ain't helping me. I've got a bit of a glitch apple. That's a bit rubbish. Anyway, I am going to come and show episode nine. Is I've gone past it. Champion Gamer, episode nine, Champion Gamer. Champ, you never, ever, ever fail to support me. If I did a video of polishing my own shoes, I reckon you would comment on it. So thank you very much for the awesome support you're giving. It is great to have you in the mate space. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the video today. We've got to get back to that map. So we're back at the map wall and you can see we've got our bit of map, but it don't fit. It's too big. So we need to come to a crafting table that I have handily set right here. And we're going to stick the map. Oh, it's in the wrong hand. So swap the hands. We're going to stick the map into the crafting table right there. And we're going to surround it with eight pieces of paper. That gives us another map. And that map is an expanded map. And you can see, if we look at that map, it's blank, which is no good. We've got to go and refill the map. Now, I would have done that over on the island, obviously, but I didn't have a crafting table. There's my error. I did a deliberate error just for you, honest. If you believe that, you're dafter than you look. And I didn't make the map actually on the island <laughs> over where I was meant to make the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back, make that map, and I'll be back, <laughs> right? In probably in about 10 minutes my time, zero time, your time. I just wanted to show you how the map grows as you walk along. Can you see? In fact, if I change hands, you might be able to see better. Can you see? It's kind of pushing towards the edge boundary as I walk along this bridge. You can see there, look. It's now pushed to the edge of the, the map. And if I get up and over here, and I turn that way, you can see, and I go down, and I hurt myself! 
Oh, that's what happens when you're not looking where you're going. You come up here and you can see it starts to fill out the map at the top as well. It's time to go swimming. Here we go, so swim. So you can see that's how the map fills out. If you don't fill out the map before you stick it on the wall, it looks like a raggedy map. And actually, sometimes that's quite a nice thing to have a raggedy looking map, but sometimes it also just looks a bit raggedy and rubbish. So once I finish filling this out, I will be back to you right over by the map wall. See you in a minute. So we're back at the map wall. You can see it just doing quick. I've just got horrible feeling someone's going to try and eat my face. So we are going to put the map in this little square in the middle. So swap hands and I can't reach. Right, brilliant. So I've got to come up oh, in a block there, a block there, get my map again and whack it in there. No, I've turned it around. See there, if you right click, you turn the map around and that joins up the map. So we've got a continuous map there all the way. And you carry on doing that across the entire wall, which I'm not going to do now because I've already demonstrated it to you once. And on this side, it's even more. So you come here, I'm going to get myself down and two, there we go. So on this side, you can see there is an even smaller scale and you do exactly the same thing, but you use one of these maps and you surround one of these maps with another map, which means that you've got to kind of go two maps in rather than one map in like I did last time. Have a practice, have a play with it. You will see what I am talking about, trust me. And then this map becomes absolutely massive. You can imagine that this map's like three or four times bigger than the map wall around this side here. Come around here. Three or four times bigger than this map wall. Oh, hang on a minute, where's my other thing? I've forgotten. There we go. So if I put uh, seven there, there we go. Phew, almost lost that one. So this is obviously that big. That whole bit there is what? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, like six or nine squares. This is one square. So it's three times bigger because three and by three and it's only one by one. So you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, have a play. Let's get on with this actual episode, shall we? Because I've kind of not done anything yet, and that's a bit rubbish. Today, we are going to go back into the nether, but I need to get some resources because I have done some more work on the nether hub, and I want to share it with you. I'll be with you when I'm done. So before we go into the nether, hang on, just shut this door. Before we go into the nether, I need to do one really important thing. It is not Christmas anymore, so I have got to switch off the Christmas lights for the year. I might turn them on at nice occasions and all that, but right now I'm going to switch the Christmas lights off by pulling this lever. See you later, Christmas lights. See you next year. There you go, all gone off. That is now just a treat. I'm going to leave it like that. But Christmas is over, so we've got to get real, haven't we? Oh, there's a brown sheep that's escaped there as well. I'm getting quite a few sheep spawning around me now, which is quite interesting. Now I'm breeding them like mad. So we've got to go across to the nether. There's a grey sheep there as well. Last bred up quite a number of cows now. So we're going into the nether, and this is going to take us to the nether. So let's get over there. So you can see now, we have built up this nether hub just a little bit. Before we do anything, I'm just gonna go up. I've built a, a top floor, which has got a load of glass in it like this. There's corners are all kind of cut out so we can go up and down any way we want on the corners. And if I come out here, I just got to be careful because I don't want any gas to shoot anything at me. I can't hear anything. We can see across the nether from the top of this nether hub. And if we wanted to access the ceiling to be able to get through to the bedrock at the top, we could probably build a diggy platform. But you can see here, we've got a glass um, system going up that way. The glass protects us from the gas, etc. We've got another glass system going out that way. So let's go back inside. Where's my door? I've lost my door. Where's, no, I'm literally, I'm going round and round. I've lost my door. But you can see, you can see all lo loads of stuff. There was loads of glowstone around here that I've harvested out quite hard, actually. Oh, I just heard a, I heard something. Right, so we're gonna go back in and then back down um, and we're gonna have a bit of a, an explore. So what I've done, I've blocked off these doors here so as nothing can physically get in here. It's light enough so as the pigmen don't actually spawn, but this glass then blocks everything off so we can't get anything out. What I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have another nether hub rack going out that way. Then out here, we're gonna have another nether hub track going out that way. We've already got the nether hub tracks going out this way this is the one that we did first that goes all the way down that way i think i've got to light it up because if i don't light that up we're going to get pigmen spawn on here and if they stand on the tracks they're going to get in my way so i might have to put some lights in and i know someone did tell me 
the glass right next to the minecart does slow it down, but I've worked it out. It doesn't matter if it's slowed down because it still gets all the way there, which is fine. But that track goes out to, do you remember where we did that slime hunting? And then this track here takes us to another place. So I'm just gonna have some more. I wonder if this apple will let me get there. There we go, we're full up. So I'm gonna get in the minecart here and we're gonna go for a ride. And I'll show you where we've gone here. So this is a bit more of a bouncy ride. And we can see loads of never stuff going on by the side of us. And if you look over there, you can just come through this come through this tunnel here. When we get to the other side of this tunnel, you can see there is a never fortress just there. So I know where to go and get my blaze rods now. It's just over there. That's walking distance from the hub, which is amazing. And we've got loads of pigmen over there. And then we've got this part of the never hub. So if I then get out, we can walk around here. And if we want to, we can go out. We can say, hello, zombie pigman, how you doing? And we can explore the various bits of the never if we want to. Or we can bottle it completely <laughs> and we can go in there. And now what I've got here is I've lit it. So that's my um, uh, another portal that is going to take us in this direction. And it's all lit up around here. But I've not gone through it yet. I deliberately don't want to go through it until I go through it with you. So we're going to go through to this next place. I hope this actually doesn't spawn me in the middle of the air or in um, a lava lake or something because that would suck. But what I've got, I've got, I don't know why I've got that wood, but I've got a load of food and I've got tools so as I can dig and stuff. I've just realised I've not brought a bed. That may have been an error. I hope to goodness there is some... Um, some sheep or something around. I've got the wood, but I've not got anything else. So let's go through, shall we? So where's this one going to take us? So this is a thousand odd blocks away from spawn. Right, so we've right, we've come out in a cave. Right, this could be bad because I've not brought any. Oh, I've not brought any torches. Oh, for goodness sake! I really, really could have done with some torches. But what we have got is some lapis, which I've got not very much of at the moment. So I'm going to get a bit of lapis because um, I really want to start doing some enchanting uh, and I've got a big plan for enchantment so I'm definitely going to get cracking with that uh, let's get this redstone as well because you can never have too much redstone so what I need to know though I think if I go function F3 where am I? I'm on blimey on level 11 level 11 I knew I was low because of that um, redstone being there but level 11? for goodness sake right let's fill that up with um, cobble there and I think what we've got to do, we've basically got to tower up, haven't we? We've got to go up and find ourselves to the surface. I don't know where the surface is going to be. So let's get cracking and, and build ourselves a stairwell up to the surface. This could take a little while. And then we can find out where we are, because I've got no idea what biome we've got above us. Um, I'm not overly smitten with this particular um, spawn of a portal, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. But what we're going to do is we're going to... Does that come out into a cave? No, it hasn't. So let's get this iron as well, because I've had quite a good run of iron. And you, again, you can never have too much iron, can you? So let's get this extra iron, and then we're just going to keep going up, and hope to goodness that we don't hit something, because I've got no... I, I'm going to really struggle, aren't I? So did I, did I just get charcoal? I've not got charcoal. So what I can do is I can make myself some oak wood blocks I can get myself over here I can get myself a little crafting table so if I stick that there I'll take that thank you very much get a crafting table stick that in the corner there and I just need to get look there's some um, I can get that coal I can just block off this water if I can get that coal then I can make myself a few torches which will be a decent start and it won't be such a disaster. Now, just make some sticks, make myself some torches, and we are happy days. I could, of course, have also built myself a furnace before those smart Alex um, say, well, why don't you just craft a furnace, Avo? I know I could do a furnace. I got that wrong in episode one. If you've not seen episode one yet, go and have a laugh at me, because I completely forgot that I could make um, charcoal out of wood and I was trying to dig away to try and find coal and it was just ridiculous but I think I have got everything I need there so if I didn't come down here I'm not going to get you yet because I've not got my um, my necessaries I don't want anything to come there um, so if I now uh, make some sticks get those and stick that there and there and now I've got a load of torches I've got an absolute load of torches now so let's light this place up a little bit 
Oh, there's, there's a cave there. So if we just light that cave up as far as we can. There we go. That'll do for that. And let's come around this way. And this here has got a load more lava. I'll come and mine this out in a bit, but let's keep that like that. So that's that fairly light. And because I have to be so careful with that, I'm going to... Let's cover this up because I can see myself going for a bit of a cropper on that. And that as well. And that. No, nope, I can't do it there. There. And I don't want it to hit me. There and there and there. I'm so rubbish. Right there and there. There we go. So that's a little bit of protection, I suppose, from the nasty, nasty lava that wants to burn off my face. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep on towering up here. If I stick a, a torch there, that's going to work for us. If I just keep on towering up here, good job I brought some picks, wouldn't it? Blimey. So keep going up here and we'll see where we end up. And I will be back when we've done a bit of digging and a bit of lighting up because I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. So we've got ourselves up to Y33. So we're making a bit of progress. We've almost run out of pit, which is why I thought I would just start to record whilst I'm digging, just so you can spend a little bit more time with me digging. I've got a lot of water noises, a lot. Oh, I've run out of pick, hang on. There we go. I've got a lot of water noises going around me, which makes me just a little nervous, I have to confess. Uh, I'm a little worried that we're gonna come out underneath something. Let's put another torch up. I'm a little worried we're gonna come out underneath a load of water. I've done that before. It does not generally end well. So I've got my cobble ready to plug up any holes and I'm trying really hard to not dig straight up because I'd say I've not actually died yet, uh, probably because I've not put myself at risk particularly since I've been doing this game. But I do want to try and avoid dying, pretend it's like hardcore mode, cause I can. And come on, where's my pick? I don't want to run out of pick before I actually get to the surface. That would be a disaster. But I am picking up a fair old bit of iron as I go as well. Like I've already got, what, 18 lots of iron so far. And I'm getting a little bit more here as well, which is nice. And I, I was actually running out of iron. I've lost, uh, I've used up quite a lot of iron because of the hoppers that I've used and everything else that I've made and the uh, various tools that I've made. It's kind of used up quite a lot of my iron so I'm quite glad to have to dig a lot because I've not done an awful lot of mining since my last massive mining session but I, I just want to get up to the surface I want to know what biome we're in what biome are we in it's going to find out we're in extreme hills or something I, I could just say what biome I'm in I can look so we are in savannah we're in a savannah biome when we physically get to the surface which is okay I could take savannah it's not that interesting. We kind of already have experienced Savannah a little bit because that was where we were on the edge of the swamp. That was Savannah, although it was, um, I think it was Sunflower Savannah, if I remember rightly. But I just want to get to the top. Where are we? We're, we're now at 44, so we're getting there. So I'm going to keep on digging. I'm nearly at the top there because I just saw that block glitched out into a sky, which is generally a good indication that we're getting close. So I just need to get rid of that block and that block that block and that block. So I'll come back to you when I've managed to, maybe I'm, I'm so near to breaking through, maybe I'll just, oh, maybe not. I'll come back to you when I've actually managed to get through. So I have come out in a cave and I have kind of wandered around the cave a little bit so far. You can see we've got a bit of a, a waterfall that I suppose I could use to travel down uh, if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that at the moment. And I think looking around here, you can see that this kind of edges round to Another cave that I've not explored yet. I'm just going to stick that there. Um, I'm going to stick that there like that. But you can see here, look, that the cave comes out into the outside. So I'm just going to put some light around here so as I can try and avoid too many mob spawns here. If I shift click, come out there, stick one on that side. Shift come out there, stick one on that side, shift, come out there, stick one on that side. And I could actually go down here, look. There we go, I don't want to see anything nasty. I'm not in the mood for fighting at the moment. I'm not tooled up properly. So, I, I, think, I think we're all right, I think we're all right. I've managed to find a cave that hasn't got any nasties in there. Let's get out of this. No, I want that one, there we go, out we go. 
up there, up there, up there. So let's go, right, so we've managed to come out at night, which isn't really what I was after. But if we light up the face of this cave nicely, can I see anything? Nothing at the moment. I just want to make sure that this cave mouth is properly lit up so as I can see it from the distance. And then we can maybe have a bit of an explore. I'm going to put my sword in my hand. So we come out of the savannah, like it said we would, and we've got some nasty drops, that much is certain. And what we got over here? We've got some skellies, so let's see if we can't hit some of these skellies from a distance. Bang, bang, that's him gone. That is him gone. Oh, no, isn't him gone? He's hard. There we go. Take both of those away. Whoa, coming underneath that there. Collect up my loot, thank you. There's a creeper there. That was a terrible shot. That was a terrible shot, but I got him anyway. Boom. So that killed the creeper. I'm going to go get my arrow. Arrows are precious. So you can see, look, I've got my, um, got my cave lit up nicely. I can see it from miles away, which is quite good. I don't want to fall down a blooming great big hole. Um, that would be bad. Dying by fall damage for the first time of dying is never very way a good way to go. That's in fact is an incredibly embarrassing way to go. But oh actually what I could do is I could take out some of these sheep. Couldn't I? How many arrows have I got left? I've got loads. Alright, if I take out some of these sheep I can make myself a bed. And then I can maybe oh look there's a zombie up there. He's coming. Come on then mate. Oh you're you're hard. I love you. Thank you very much. I love the experience you've given me. Right, so I need some sheep. There we go. So I need some wool. There we go. So we get out there. And then I can make a bed and some kind of rudimentary house. So as I don't... So as I can just get through this night time. Because there's nothing worse, is there? There we go. So up there, up there. Right, I think... Let's just get that one as well whilst I'm here. That was a bit point blank, ever man. That's what you're talking about. That was a bit unfair. Right, so let's come around this way. And if I get to the mouth of my cave, the relative safety of my cave around here, because it's fairly light, so nothing can really get me. If I then put um, them in there, I can get myself a crafting table. I can use that crafting table. Where you gone? There you are. I can use that crafting table to make myself a bed with the wood that I've got now. So one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a bed, thank you very much. Now I do have to be careful, of course, because if I sleep in this bed, I need to sleep in my bed at home to be able to reset my spawn. Otherwise all I'm gonna do is just end up spawning and respawning here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cover this up. There we go, one, two, three, Kind of make myself at least semi protected from any mobs that might want to come and eat my face they can't get in or at least won't try to get in hopefully and i will put my bed down where's there's the bed that's put my bed down there so we've had a little sleep and now i can get myself out it's daytime we can have a little bit more of an explore around this area and see what we've got i've got a horrible feeling it's not a very exciting spot, and we might just want to use it as a bit of a way station, but at least we know where we are. Let's get clicked up on my cobble. So let's see where we are. So I'm going to make myself a little trail so as I don't get lost of cobblestone like this, and then I know exactly where I'm going, and we're doubtless going to end up coming past some kind of skeleton that thinks it's clever by hiding under a tree. I want to find a really interesting biome to build a, another base up in, which would be good. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? What could we do over here? So we've got a, quite a nice interesting wall. We've got some pumpkins, brilliant. So I can get some pumpkins and that means I can start to build some more interesting stuff. With pumpkins, you can make iron golems, which can be really good for village defences and um, for the slime farm that I made. So I'm gonna get these pumpkins. 
I think if I have I got any space? Yeah, I do. There we go. So that's one, two, three, and four pumpkins. Brilliant. So now I could make four iron golems, which would be kind of useful. And we've got some more cows there as well. It's too late. I found cows already. So let's just keep walking and find out what we got over here. So that is a really nice, cool, harbory type place there. Got plenty of squid. Can't see anything interesting under the water. But that's all right. So come this way as well. We're going to find some. It's got to be something interesting around this way. Ah, oh, we've got a desert biome. Brilliant. Maybe, just maybe, we can find a desert um, temple. That would be kind of cool. Or even a desert village. So I'm just going to come down here. We're going to go across. And we're going to get ourselves into this desert. We've got, we've got plenty of food. So we should be all right. We're not going to get too lost. Let's come up here. Look at that. Awesome desert. That's what we want. We want some desert. I can get some cactus. Where's my chopper? There we go. Look, little rabbits going all over the place as well. So if I get my cactus, that's going to help me. Except I've, if I run out. Ah, that's annoying. Um, what am I going to ditch? What am I going to ditch? Obviously, I'm going to ditch diorite. There we go. Because <laughs> diorite isn't something you need in your life. Let's get rid of that cactus as well. Because I need cactus to be able to make that um, slime golem farm. The, the one where you don't have to dig too deep. So I did a little tutorial on that. So we can now get some of this cactus as well. And we'll be able to make ourselves that slime farm in the slime... Um, uh, place that we in the slime place what on earth is the slime place in there we go in the in the swamp avamance in the slime place goodness me i might actually take some of this as well just because i can there we go except i can't of course because i've got one bit of brown wool do i want to no i get rid of the granite nobody wants granite there we go so now i've got more sticks don't hit it it'll only take your life there we go, so we're gathering plenty of cactus. And I can make myself a little cactus farm as well. Um, which is, I mean, cactus farms are really, really useful. I might get myself a little bit more sand while I'm here too, because uh, I've taken quite a lot of sand from the location of the spawn. And it's, um, well, it's sometimes a bit dodgy to lose all your sand, because I've done, made loads, and I mean loads of glass, obviously, with that um, nether portal. So I'm going to need to get plenty more sand. And of course, I'll get rid of the bone. Come around, don't need the bone, get, just get to pick up the sand, get another full stack of sand. And then we've got a full stack of cactus already, no I haven't, there we go. So I'm going to get on with some of this and I'll be back with you when I find something interesting. So I've been wandering through the night, this desert is quite big, look at all those big mountainy type stuffs over there. But we've managed to keep ourselves a little trail of these cobblestone blocks. And what I've found is this lovely great big pool and overlooking the pool, We've got a desert temple, so we're going to have a look inside the desert temple because I've actually not done too many of these things in my time. But um, what we got down there? Let's have a look. We've got. Let's stick a torch there. So we're inside the desert temple. Now these things make me more than a little bit nervous. The desert temples because I've not got a lot of experience of them, and I know that you can actually get deaded dead easy with them. Um, what am I going to drop? Because I've just realised I'm losing. Shall I lose the dirt? Let's lose the dirt. There we go. Um, I'm going to take these mushrooms though, because mushrooms are quite handy. I'm going to put some light on the subject, because I don't want to get any mobs coming at me. And I can obviously harvest some of this um, really nice building material as well, which is uh, partly what the Desert Temple is all about, really. And it? it's about the building materials rather than anything else. But what we are going to do is we are going to take away some of this area around there because with desert temples if you dig down in the middle you set off the trap and if you set off the trap oh no i've got i've just got too much stuff what can i get rid of i've got one bit of gunpowder there that way that's not really worth much is it so let's get right so what did i just pick up so i've picked up all of that stuff but i can't pick up that stuff so let's get rid of the andestite again there we go 
and the andesite can basically whistle. I don't want the andesite. I can't even get down the hole. There we go. Right, so we're just going to dig out some of this sand temple. We're going to basically power down to the bottom um, without falling down that blooming great big hole. You see that blooming great big hole there? That is not something you want in your life. Um, I am, however, going to take that because that's quite useful. Um, what am I going to lose? I'm going to lose... I don't want to lose anything. Um, I'll lose the sticks. There we go. Sticks are not quite so important, are they? So it can come down. And basically, I'm just going to try and build myself a little set of steps all the way down. In like a spiral. Around. And I'm going to collect up that while I'm there. Because that's quite nice, that orange terracotta. I'll have that. And we come here and here and here. All the way around. So let's get this done. Oh no, I have now run out of, <laughs> I've run out of pickaxe. So what I've got to do now is I've got to make myself um, another crafting. Have I got enough? Yeah, I've just got enough, but that means I've not got enough sticks. Oh, this is a disaster. This is bad planning. So what I've got to do here, if I come up here and I get rid of some stuff and I don't know, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. And I come back down this way. I don't want the andesite. So let's get rid of you as well. No, I don't want the andesite. Let's get rid of you. And I come around. That means I can pick up those sticks. Which means that I can make a crafting table without fear of not having any sticks, can't I? And then I can make myself, at least I can make myself a... Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could, in my crafting table... I could make myself a little furnace there. I'll take the furnace, stick the furnace next to the crafting table. Where's the furnace? There it is. Stick that furnace there. In that. Put some of that, put some of that. And then we can furnace up that iron. In the meantime, I'm going to punch this. This is going to take forever, isn't it? Punching it. That's never good. Because I want some of those iron bars to be able to make another iron pickaxe. I don't want to make a stone pickaxe because it's just going to make things take forever. So let's make an iron pickaxe. There we go. I need one more. And then I'm away. I've got 12 sticks, so it's all good. Come on, gimme, 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 gimme. There we go. So I'll have those. And then if I take one stick there, one stick there. Three iron ingots. I've got myself an iron pickaxe again. And we can carry on. Thank goodness for that. That was a bit sticky, wasn't it? Ha sticky! That was a joke that I didn't even mean to make. So let's make keep making our spiral. And I'm actually gonna run out of these as well soon, and I keep going, keep going. How much further is it? Not too much further. We're gonna get to those chests and see what's in them. But of course, I've not got an awful lot of room in my inventory. I might have to dump some of these rocks just to be able to get stuff out. <coughs> So we have got here, and this is where you have to be really careful, we've got here all of the good stuff. Look at this, we've got diamond horse armor, we've got a load of bones, we've got a load of sand, we've got gunpowder, we've got a couple of emeralds. This is a good haul. What have we got here? We've got another saddle, we've got string and stuff. Can I reach that one? No, I can't. We've got two diamonds, we've got a smite four book. Right, so we need a piece of this. We need a piece of this. I need to work out what I'm gonna do with some of this stuff. I just need to get a shot of it, don't I? So let's get that in there. Get that in there. Get that in there. And I can start to loot these chests now. So I'll have that, I'll have that. We might as well take all of this. I'll take the diamond horse armor, I might as well have that. I can collect the sand up onto a brand new stack. Get that one. I want the sand, I'll have that, I'll have that saddle as well. Do we want the string? Might as well take the string. Right, so that's taken all of that. Oh no, I've got to get rid of more stuff. What don't I want? What don't I want? And we'll loot this chest there. We'll have the enchanting book. We'll take all of that gunpowder. We'll have the iron ingot. Um, we'll take, can't take the diamonds. Right, so we've got to get rid of... Let's get rid of the string. 
No! I didn't want to get rid of the book! Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> that's not fair! Right, that's it, I'm going to sulk. I've got to, I've got to now, somehow, get the book. And we got the book. There we go. Now we're laughing. We've got the book. And now what else do we want to get? So now we can get rid of the other stuff that we were going to get rid of again. <laughs> this is just appalling. Avamance, you are beyond bad. There you go. You want your sword. Um, you want to keep the book. Is there anything there you don't want to keep? No. So then what else are we going to get rid of? We are going to get rid of... Oh, the decisions. I don't want to get rid of the terracotta. I want to keep it. Now I've got myself a couple of gaps. I can come in there and I can take the diamonds. I want to avoid that pressure plate because that pressure plate is bad, bad news. And then we'll come here and what's in this chest? We've got respiration too. That's quite useful. We'll have, and we've got a full thing there. So now what we can do is we can try and basically loot out. So there's all the TNT there. You can see it's really scary. I'm not going to get it yet because I don't need it at the moment. I'm not actually going to use TNT for anything. I don't want to mess it up and set the TNT off by bashing it. So that's not something that's going to happen. I'm going to run away. This is me being a bit of a cowardly custard. I'll take that. I can't, of course, take these, but it doesn't matter. And let's get ourselves back up to the surface. There we are. So I can now take these guys here <gasps> almost fell down the hole that would have been abject disaster again we'll collect up that right i think we've done all right there that was a decent session now all i've got to do is try and find the way out which i can't remember it's night time again already so i think we did all right there that was a not too bad session I'm just going to come up to the top so as i can see everything around me there's the hole. Don't fall down the hole right in the middle because that's always a bad idea. You'll go straight onto the purple block and no one wants to do that. So that was one sand temple properly looted. I am going to call that a day. I think we've done quite a lot there. I'm quite happy with the looting of the sand temple. Um, it's an all right session. If you have enjoyed this video, please do let me know by slapping that like button full in the mush. It'll be great to know that you've liked the video. And also, if you haven't done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'll be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.